Well, welcome back. Unfortunately, the weekend is going to come to a close and nice weather is going to go away and the rain's going to come, but we do have one more nice day to enjoy. Yeah, it's going to be nice tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid 70s and we're going to break from the wind. It was a windy day out there today. I'm wondering how that could have affected like pop ups and fly balls at the Moondogs game today. I'm sure that makes it a little there's difficult. There's a couple home runs. Um, okay. I think the Moondogs had three of them, so okay. I think. Well, we'll so. say the wind took it out. Yeah. Or their, we'll or their power that. and their swings, one of yeah. those. Well, one hey, of the two. We'll get a break from those winds, though, as we go into tomorrow. A lot of strong gusts today, 40 mile, mile per hour gusts through Mankato, St. James, and Owatonna, similar to what we had on Wednesday and Thursday. We had a nice break from the winds on um, Friday and Saturday, but those picked up again today. Even Mason City, they had a 47 mile per hour wind gust today. So very windy day through the afternoon, and those winds are finally starting to die down as we go into the evening. As we take a look at the week ahead, we're going to have a beautiful start tomorrow. As we were talking about temperatures into the mid 70s, uh, sunny conditions throughout the day, and we'll get a break from those winds. We could see some showers early on Tuesday morning between about 5 and 7 a.m. Nothing but a nothing like a washout, and we'll have a clear afternoon after those showers on Tuesday. Temperatures, though, are going to warm up as we get into the middle of the week by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday into the 80s and possibly even the upper 80s as we go into Wednesday. And Wednesday is a, a day we're going to keep our eyes on closely as there could be some showers and storms that possibly could turn severe as we get into Wednesday night through Thursday morning. We'll keep an eye on that on the weather team. We'll keep you updated as we go through the week. Out there now, mostly clear, 64 degrees. Winds have died down out of the north at 10 miles per hour compared to what they were earlier between 20 and 30 miles per hour. So finally getting a break from those winds. Temperatures today got into the mid 70s throughout much, much of the area, 75 in Mankato, St. Peter, Wasika, and New Alm, as well as Albert Lee. A little warmer into St. James at 79, and the only 80 degree in the area was down in Estherville, Iowa. So temperatures not bad at all today, but the winds kind of neutralized those temperatures and kept them from getting into the low 80s. We'll wake up tomorrow with temperatures into the low 50s to start off the work week, kind of like we had this morning. We'll warm up again into the mid 70s tomorrow, and then by the time we get into Tuesday, those temperatures are going to warm up into the low, possibly even to the mid 80s, as those winds will switch direction out of the southeast compared to the northwest and northeast, like the last few days where we had those temperatures into the 70s. Mostly clear conditions tonight, mostly sunny conditions tomorrow, and then we'll watch Tuesday morning early around 5, 6 a.m. for some showers to move through the Mankato area, but most of the activity looks to stay to the north on Tuesday morning and then we'll clear out Tuesday afternoon and have another mostly sunny afternoon for Tuesday. Tonight again we'll drop down into the low 50s mostly clear conditions and again those winds will decrease out in the, the northwest between 5 and 15 miles per hour. As we go into tomorrow it's going to be another gorgeous day mostly sunny temperatures into the mid 70s winds not a problem out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we take a look at that 10 day forecast again those showers move out early on Tuesday so we could have mostly sunny conditions for the afternoon. Again, we'll be watching for Wednesday afternoon through evening for a stronger system of storms to come through. We'll keep you updated on that. And as we go through the rest of the week, into the weekend, temperatures remain in the 80s. We're going to watch for some more shower and storm activity, though, as we go into Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be nice with temperature wise, but more chances at rain as we go through this week. Well, it's finally that time of the year where we get to uh, maybe sit outside in the garage yeah. and enjoy the thunderstorms that exactly. roll in and so. watch the lightning shows. So well, that'll we're be have cool. some opportunities at that. This we week. will have yeah. some of that. So we will have sports after the break right here on KUSA News Now at 10.